Hi, my name is Simone Telfar, over my mother, Miss Liana. Guys, my name is Iris Telfar. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Ariana. I'm in the house of Telfar. Artistic house of Telfar. I'm part of the artistic, history making, exclusive, innovative house of Telfar. I came to the Kiki team first. I was introduced through my cousin and it was my birthday and I just had nothing to do and he was like, oh, I'm going to an event. It was like a, a shock, like a different world. It's like a regular school, you don't see nobody, it's like empty. Then you go through this one door and it's just like a whole different world, like people voguing and mixing and mingling. I was just like, what is this? <laughs> I, I, I fell in love from there. Kiki theme absorbed me and I absorbed it. I just wanted to exist in a world where my identity was reflected. I found out that the Kiki scene was such a, a vital place that I wanted to exist in when I saw how much fun people were having. It's a constant reminder that we are not alone, that we are mirrors and reflections of each other, that we are carrying on a legacy um, from the ancestors before us, the ancestors before us. And it's honestly, it's our platform to shine. What really like pushed me to like understand like who I was and like my place in this world or just like what would be like my house because um, Tati Muglio, well, that's all her character and when she was bogey and she was just like the way she carried herself and like how like her essence and everything, like she really like, it lit up my spirit and then like, it like, I thought, I never felt like so sure of something in my life or like, it just so like aligned with me so much just seeing her live up and living her a truth. What is your earliest memory with makeup? Was around the time of my mom when she would either get ready to go to work as a costume designer or when she would go out with her girlfriends or, my, or with my aunt. Like, she would be in the mirror. I was around like, what, like 10, 10, 11, just looking at her in the mirror, just like rushing with her, all of her like different eyeshadows and mascaras. And then she started selling Mary Kay after a while. And I was like, oh, bitch, it's lit. And, um, and that hit when I was like in middle school and um, also around the time when I started liking boys. And so I was like, I'm gonna start wearing mascara. And so I started wearing the makeup that she would sell. And so she got mad at me um, a lot because I was wasting her product. So that was around the first time I learned about capitalism and makeup. What's your favorite category of all? Face. Mm -hmm. I love face. That's my, that's the category that I nominate. And what is it about walking face that you sort of, that really draws you to it? Getting dolled up, getting like the glamour of like putting on a show. It's really like a show to me. It's like me stepping on that floor and literally showing the best person I put forward. And not eating it up. It's like I like that, it's like pull and tug moment. It's like okay, I want to know what she's gonna do next. Cause every time I come out, it's a different person. A father is like um like your parent, like your chosen parent, your chosen family, and uh, specifically like it's not only the ballroom scene, but it like it's it comes from like the ballroom scene. So with the Kiki scene. Uh, that's like my gay, I feel like that's not only my gay father in the bottom team, that's my gay father every year because like we talk every day like, um, you know, we always see each other and it's like more so somebody that's like a, a role model, or like a parental figure for you, especially if like as a queer person like or somebody, anybody in the spectrum of the LGBTQ plus community, it's very hard to have a relationship with your biological family. So it's like, it's definitely something that's like necessary to have or like how like people adapt it to like surviving such like a hard world and being like rejected by people that are supposed to be accepting or supporting you. So it's that like extension of support. So that's like what a gay father is. But like there's like gay, gay mothers, trans parents, trans, trans mothers, yeah, whatever you call it. Like it's like the, they're all like along, along the same line. So like um, Mother Miles when she was there. And like, uh, just getting like this whole process of like this campaign on and like, at the photo shoot, like, she was like keeping an eye out, like making sure I was okay, always checking it on me, and uh, it felt really good, like, and I like, kind of like emotional because it's like, it felt really like, it felt really good that like somebody was like making sure that I was safe and like just like there to like support me and like, 
Yeah, um, like I've been like told her, like I was like, oh my god, like you know, like first time in a while that I felt like somebody really like genuinely had my back and like was there to just like be that sense of like support. My father passed away in 2020. Uh, after my mom, my father and my mom are always super supportive of me, of my identity and my sexuality, never not. And when extension of that was my friends. And so my father knew the times when he wasn't around after my mom died, my friends had me. And so anytime we see my friends, he always like showed them love and respect and compassion and nurture, you know. Also, he knew a lot of my friends didn't have fathers. So he was very, very like welcoming for that. So when he died, the night I found out he died, I was coming back from a residency upstate. And my grandmother, my aunt came downstairs. They were like, oh, we're just driving through Brooklyn. We want to like just stop by and say hi to you. I go into the car, they tell me he died. I come upstairs. My other roommate was just like, what's happening? It was like, my dad just died. I have to go to my family's house in Staten Island. Packed a bag and left. Didn't speak to my friends, my, my, my chosen family for like two or three days until the funeral. And when I got to the funeral, they were all there. I have this like beautiful video of like walking through my aunt's house and it's like, just like all of my, um, just like all of my family. And it's like so, there's so many different types of bodies and shapes and colors of people and identities. And it's just like, and like, just, yeah. So it's just like this, this, this family is so, like my chosen family is really my strength. There are days when I like, I really cannot get out of my bed and they're like, girl, get up. You know, like you have to do it. And um, there's days when they need that too. And it's just like really powerful that like, my chosen family is in the house tell far, outside of the house tell far, inside my cho my blood family in Staten Island, and also just like a door away now. Like it's just so beautiful. Uh, what do you want to be remembered for? Like really working with girls, especially younger girls, because I've been there and I've been like feeling like I ain't have nobody, or I ain't have nobody that was knowing how hard it is for a trans girl. I take you know pride in doing behind the scenes stuff like planning out looks for my category, like face or my realness girls, or even just trying to check on the girls and trying to see where they head at mentally outside of ballroom, with school, daily life, see what's going on, what they need. I want to be remembered for inspiring others to be their most authentic self by being my most authentic self. I feel like a lot of things that people say when they first meet me is how like, uh, real I am but not only real but I'm very like sensitive to other people because I'm a sensitive person and like I feel like people misconstrue like being honest as being rude and I feel like I've learned from like experience of what I've gone through that it you can still be you can be compassionate while informing. My mission in life is to create period. I'm most proud of creating the space that I need in this world to live my life the how, how I want to live it. Like, I'm so proud of, like, just me, like, carving my own spot in this world. My mission in life is to create crazy, iconic art. To leave a legacy behind of just showing the world that trans people exist, that we are talented, that we deserve to be loved. I want the legacy that I leave behind on this earth to be iconic. You act a bunch of me. You act a bunch of me. You act a bunch of me. You. I got something new for you to dance to. Grab your girlfriend, tell her she can come too. Pour me a cup and roll another blunt. Pants me the mic, it's about to get cut. That I got something new for you to dance to. Grab your girlfriend, tell that bitch come through. Pour me a cup and roll another blunt. Pants me the mic, it's about to get stunt. I got a brand new dance for you. Bitch, I feel like cut and this beat is cute. See me in the back, girl, prepared to lose. Cause I'm about to let the pussy leak on you. Bitch, on you. Nah, 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 ew. Let the pussy leak on who? Bitch, on you. Nah, 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 ew. Shorty under the couch, she a dusty bitch Always looking like a clown full of crusty bitch Oh, where she got the crowd, tell her run that shit Been a long time since I had the off